Hi traders, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video explaining the difference between end of day drawdown versus trailing drawdown. If you are familiar with the trader funding companies, that is companies that uh, give you an opportunity to do an evaluation usually in futures market but now we're seeing more on Forex and the crypto side as well and after a, you're able to complete a set parameters as far as a profit target and certain rules to follow you'll have the opportunity to get uh, an account given to you where you can trade and pull out actual profit so basically they're investing in you as a trader and giving you capital for you to be able to trade with and to pull out profits from i have a whole playlist on my channel on this you can check it out in the video description if you want more information on that but in today's video i'm going to focus exclusively on the uh, drawdown rules every one of these companies the main thing they all have in common is there is a trailing drawdown that you cannot get your account balance down to that uh, level or you're gonna get liquidated and you're gonna fail your evaluation so in the beginning all these companies offered what's called the trailing drawdown which trails as we're going to see now your live account balance but more and more there's several companies offering end of day drawdown which i think is a much better uh, option if you have it available and so i'm going to go over different scenarios in this video and talk about this so all traded funding companies offer two types of drawdown in their evaluations and funded accounts as part of their risk management parameters. I'm going to focus mainly on the evaluation phases of these companies. So we have the trailing drawdown. It constantly moving relative to the current balance as determined by realized or unrealized profits. So it's a measured in real time throughout the day and it's including the cost of commissions as well. So a reduction in the account balance does not reduce the trailing drawdown. So basically a trailing drawdown, it's always pinned to whatever the maximum account balance you have is at that moment, even if you have not closed a trade. So that means, let's say if you go long and you're on a trade and you're $1,000 in profit, but then you give it all back and you close it at scratch at zero, your trailing drawdown is still going to go up $1,000 because that's the maximum balance your account registered at a given moment, okay? And then we have the end of day drawdown, which is updated each time a trading day ends. All these companies, they won't let you hold trades overnight in the futures market, pretty much between 5 and 6 p.m. Usually, they'll ask you to have all your positions and orders canceled. Depending on the company, is usually between 3.50 up to 4.59 p.m. Eastern Time. So once the day is over, that's when they calculate the end of day drawdown only when the account has gained profits it is considered so that means if you started the day you know with a fifty thousand dollar account you made a thousand dollars on the first trade but then you lose eleven hundred dollars your end of day drawdown is not going to move because you did not register any profits once a new high has been reached in the account balance then the end of day drawdown is updated it will always move in accordance to the profits earned for the day so again if you have a losing day it is not going to go up relative to what you had on the day before now which companies offer which types for evaluations uh, this is updated up to this moment when i'm recording this video in december 2023 but I recommend, obviously, do your due diligence. Go read all the documentation on any comp 
companies that you want to use but for now what i've seen is as far as trailing drawdown we have apex lilo funded engineer bolinox ftmo one up again there's a lot of these companies this is not a complete list of them and then for the end of day drawdown we have top step earn to trade trade day bolinox which you can see bolinox some companies offer both types of accounts and then we have elite trader i believe earn to trade actually also offers the trailing drawdown on one of their types of accounts as well okay and if you want to get the best discounts for several of these companies like apex top step earn to trade and trade day check out all the links in the description of my video where you can get really great discounts and help support the channel as well so let's go into scenario comparisons we're going to be looking at three different trading day scenarios and how both types of drawdowns compare in each one let's assume we're using a 50,000 funding evaluation with a $2,500 drawdown for both types that means that on day one your account balance is $50,000 your liquidation is 47,500 so that means you can lose $2,500 for the sake of simplicity we'll be using round numbers and we're going to ignore the costs of commissions but again you have to be well aware of commissions when you're trading this because if you have winners the commissions are going to eat into your profits and if you have losers the commissions are going to add into your losses okay so we're going to be looking at three scenarios scenario one it's a losing day where no profits were recorded scenario two is a consistent winning day scenario three it's a volatile day where your account balance was all over the place you had wins and then you have profits that you gave back and losses as well okay so let's go one by one so scenario one here we're starting the day right here on each one of our accounts first trade we have a $500 loss and so as you can see our balance is going to go down to 49,500 but the liquidation is not going to move because we have not recorded any winnings and remember the end of day nothing is going to happen until the day closes but on the trailing drawdown the liquidation is not going to move yet because we have not registered any profits then we had a second trade where we made $450 in profits our balance is now going back to $49,950 but as you can see the liquidation or the trailing drawdown threshold is not going to move because we have not registered any profits above our initial balance and then on the last trade we have a third trade and we lose a hundred dollars so we end up the day at 49,850 and as you can see the trailing drawdown did not move because we never went above the $50,000 initial balance and in the end of the drawdown since we closed out the day and our balance was less than what we started with then our liquidation in both of these scenarios is not going to move okay so in this case we ended up pretty much the same on both because there was no profits now let's go to scenario number two when we have a nice profitable day so same thing we're going to start balance 50,000 liquidation or trailing drawdown threshold 47,500 first trade $500 profit our account balance is going to go up to 50,500 
And as you can see on our trailing drawdown account, our liquidation has now moved up $200 because we're now up $500 from what our initial balance was. So our balance went up $500, our liquidation went up $500. On the end of day drawdown, our balance went up $500, but our uh, drawdown is still staying the same. Next, we have a second trade that we lose $200. So now our balance is $50,300. But as you can see, the trailing drawdown is going to stay at $48,000 because this will never go down. The trailing drawdown is going to uh, trail the highest account balance that we have, but it will never go down. Okay. And then on our end of day drawdown, obviously, this is still the same because this is not going to move until the end of the day where we determine if we lost or won anything. Then on the trailing drawdown, we have a trade that is going to go is going our way. And at one point we were up seven hundred dollars in profits. So we're going to have an open balance of $51,000. So our liquidation, since it's trailing even our unrealized gains, meaning even if you're not closed the trade, is gonna still follow your highest balance. So in this case, since we had a balance of 51,000, that means we were up $500 from where we were on the last, um, highest balance that we had so our liquidation is going to go up by five hundred dollars so now we are at a liquidation of forty eight thousand five hundred however the trade starts going back against us we have not closed the trade and in the end we end up closing the trade for a loss of one hundred dollars so that means we we're up $700, but we held it open thinking we were going to keep going up and it went down and we closed it for a $100 loss. So now our balance, we were 50300 and we closed it at a $100 loss. So our balance now is 50200 but our liquidation or the trailing drawdown threshold is still going to stay the same because it will never go down after it's followed the highest balance okay on the end of the drawdown same thing we have a fifty thousand two hundred dollar balance after we had a one hundred dollar loss after we let go of all this 700 profits we had and the liquidation is going to stay the same until the end of the day. And then to finish off the day, we had a nice $1,000 winning trade. So now our balance is $51,200 to finish off the day. And now you can see that our liquidation or trailing drawdown is gone up to $48,700 because our highest balance from 51,000 we now have a balance of 51,200 so we're just going to add 200 dollars into what our highest liquidation balance was okay so as you can see on our trailing drawdown account we're going to end up the day at 51,200 and a trailing drawdown at 48,700. On our end of day drawdown, we're going to end up the same. We're going to end up with a balance of 51,200. So that means that we just look at what we started the day with, which was 50,000, and we just add $1,200 in profits to it. And so our liquidation is 48,700, okay? So as you can see, both scenarios, we ended up the same, 
but as we're going to see on the last scenario, this is very dangerous when it comes to the trailing drawdown accounts. You do not want to be giving back profits, especially on this ones, because this is where uh, you can get liquidated a lot easier than at the end of day drawdown accounts. And so to finish off, let's look at a third scenario. In this day, we have a very volatile day. Lots of wins and losses. Our balance is all over the place. And we're going to start again. 50,000 balance liquidation threshold, 47,500. So first trade, we make $800. So our balance is 50,800. And our trailing drawdown is going to go up by 800 as well to 48,300 and the they draw down same balance liquidation stays the same next trade we lose a thousand dollars so now our balance is going to go down to 49,800 our liquidation is not going to move and is going to stay at 48,300 end of day liquidation stays the same but our balance goes down then we get a huge trade we go in let's say four contracts on the mini nasdaq and it just starts pumping like crazy and at one point our account is at a profit of two thousand dollars unrealized so that means we have a balance of 51,800. So that means our liquidation is now going to move up based on our last balance. Since we're $1,000 above what our maximum balance was before, that means our liquidation is going to go up another $1,000 now from the highest point that we had it. So our liquidation is now 49,300. But remember, this trade is still open. Now, let's say the trade starts coming back against us and we give back $1,500 and we only make a $500 profit. So that means our balance is going to end up from 49,800. We finish at 50,300 and our trailing drawdown is going to stay at the maximum balance that we recorded which was 49,300 on our end of day drawdown we have the same balance again we had a 49,800 balance we went up 2,000 but gave back 1,500 so we only made 500 so our balance is 50,300 liquidation is still the same as the beginning of the day and then this is where this makes the huge difference now we have another trade that we go in and we try to get very aggressive we get in with a lot of size it starts going against us and now we the trade goes a thousand dollars against us and as you can see our balance is now going to hit our liquidation price and our account has been blown up okay because we gave back a lot of our profits and then we had a big loser so our liquidation went up a lot and now we're hit our liquidation price and remember this is not even considering commissions so we would have been liquidated even earlier because the commissions are gonna eat up into all our uh, profits etc and it's gonna augment our losses and now on the end of day scenario we would have ended up the day with a balance of 49,300 and since we did not record any profits at all here that means that our liquidation is going to stay the same 
and we are going to be good to go to trade another day okay so as you can see same scenario same profits and losses but the end of day drawdown is going to give us a lot more flexibility when it comes to being able to have big winners and then give back profits without affecting us as negatively so as you can see we would lose our account on the trailing but we would keep our account going with still a nice cushion of 1800 um, dollars right here on the end of day drawdown account okay so that's pretty much it for the video i hope this has been insightful and again if you're choosing your uh, funding company um, i would say this is a very important factor to take into account just because this is going to make it um, easier for you to um, you know to not fail your evaluation as easily and if you like this video make sure to subscribe to the channel hit the thumbs up if you want to support future content please consider using my uh links for trader discounts in the description so you get a nice discount and i will see you all in the next video take care